Are you fed up of having a boring Minecraft skin like this? And instead want a custom skin like this, but don't want to have to use the marketplace or pay for anything? Well, don't worry. It's completely free and easy to do. So all you want to do is simply go to whatever search engine you use and then simply type in Minecraft skins. You can even search for a specific skin or you can do that once you get to a website. Find a website that you feel safe and comfortable using. I'm not going to suggest any in particular as there are loads out there. But once you've got one, simply find the skin you want to use and download it. If you want to make your own skin from scratch, you can also do that on some of these websites or you can make it from scratch using a third party application as well if you are very skilled. Now once you've got your skin, you want to download the skin file. So most of the websites will have an option to download the skin file and then go into Minecraft, hit the pause button and then go to the dressing room button and then simply find an empty slot in your dressing room. So here is an empty slot right here. Then as you can see right here, it says create character. So then it will allow you to choose from a character or from a classic skin. Here we're going to go to classic skin. Now if all of your skin slots were full, don't worry, hit the three lines here and you can also go to classic skins right here as well if that's easier. And then as you can see right here, it will say own skins. There'll be a skin here, click on it and then it will bring up this button down here that says choose new skin. Now once you've clicked this button, it will bring up your files on your computer. So wherever you saved your skin file to, you want to select the skin. Once you've selected and imported your skin, it will come up with two different options. You can choose what kind of skin you want it to be like. For this tutorial, we'll just go for this one right here. And then as you can see, this is the dream skin, which I chose to import. You can even add capes to this or emotes to click the capes button. If you've got a cape, you can simply select it and then hit equipped. And as you can see, this will now have the cape which was equipped. But if you want to get custom capes on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you can do this too. Check out the video on screen if you want to know how. I'll see you over there right now.